one last week. Put me in FO with that and Legacy, what the fuck was that? Why didn't you tell me you signed me up for Legacy? Huh? Oh, what's up with that? Huh? Oh, what's up with that? Let's come on, man. You gotta... I gotta bring you back to those those classes about how to talk. But anyway, all right, Ebonics. What's up with that? It's from 1984. Anyway, don't worry about Legacy. All right? Because I got you a gift. Oh, you got me a gift? Too? Staplers, gets the gold stapler. Yo, this is straight from India. It cost me about $30,000. They actually picked the gold themselves oh, yeah? to make that. Yeah. That's right. And you know what? <laughs> FO doesn't stand a chance anyways. You know what's fucked up, man? I won a singles match three weeks ago. When was the last time he won? May 3rd. That's right. The first show after Legacy last year. That's right. After, uh... I even lose my thought because this so this gold is just making me shine. Anyway, that's why I dropped that fo. He's been a loser. He's only good in the spotlight. He hasn't won because May since May 3rd because he sucks. Alright? FO sucks. It's over. The chapter's gonna close when you kick his ass at Legacy. Alright? Now speaking of Legacy, CG5 plus Dizus to the tooth, second power. Alright? Dirty Dealer gonna go there. He's gonna beat Hall of Famers like sick, like G Dick, and like Sin. Speaking of sin, we got him in a six-man tag. Next week, I got him one-on-one. -on -one. I'm gonna boot his ass out of here. It's gonna go far. It's gonna go to Legacy, when I boot his ass back. It's gonna be like back and forth. You know what? Speaking of Legacy, last week, freaking Flax named his match. Finally, after all the games, he finally named his match. You know what, Flax? This may shock you, this may shock everybody in WAW, but you know what? I'll concede something to you right now. See, Flats, you got inside my head. You got me doing things I would never normally do. You got me throwing you downstairs. You got me throwing tacks out. You got me doing it all. But Flax, realize who you're pissing off. Realize that I am the only name you need to know. Realize that I haven't lost the match since Annihilation, Flax. And a legacy, you can ride your curse all you want, but it's not going to matter. Because I'm breaking the so-called legacy curse. That bullshit excuse. Guys like Sin, guys like Q, and guys like FO <laughs> use to justify their means. The fact of the matter is, we got all three of those assholes in a six-man tag match tonight. And just like every other week, I'm coming out on top, you're coming out on top, and you're coming out on top. Staples, Dirty Dealer, the WAW Champion, let's go! Let's go, bro. Ole, ole, ole. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for the main event of the evening. A six-man tag, pitting that man right there, the number one contender for the WAW Championship, Freakin' Flash. That man right there, Effo, and Sin against Todd Sopel, the WAW Champion, the Dirty Dealer, and Staple. All three of these men, excuse me, all six participants in this contest tonight will be facing each other at Legacy. Freakin' Flax will be challenging the WAW Championship in a best of five series match in which the first fall will be a singles match, the second fall will be a submission match, the third fall will be a tables match, and the fourth and fifth falls, should we need them, will be a first blood and ladder match respectively. Sin will be a part of Cemetery Gate 7, along with the man coming out of the locker room area right now, the Dirty Dealer. Those two men, along with Sick, and the returning for one night only, the Dark Stalker, Grave Digger. Those four men will do battle in Cemetery Gate 7, Hall of Fame, in the main event of Legacy 2006. And just announced over the week, we will see Epo versus Staples at Legacy. Epo has had his problems with Staples in recent weeks. Staples has been interjecting himself into contests that involve Epo. Very obviously, probably at the provoking of the Dirty Dealer because the Dirty Dealer is still Epo's manager for another couple of weeks. As we head into Legacy, the contract expires on April the 20th and we get all six men staring off in the center of the ring. Everybody talking their trash. Everybody that's facing off at Legacy going face to face. But Todd Sopel 
brings his team back, and freaking Flax sends his team back. And FO has won rock, paper, scissors over freaking Flax and Sin. So FO will start things off here this week against the WAW champion, Todd Sopel, as our main event of Aftermath kicks off and begins. Lock up in the center of the ring between the champion and Epo, a man who rightfully should be the WAW champion right now. He had Todd Sobel beat three weeks ago in a just a WAW championship match, but the Dirty Dealer came out and forfeited the match for Epo right as we were about to see the three count. He hit the big top drop, he hit the Epo splash, he had the one, he had the two, he had the three. No, he didn't. The Dirty Dealer came out and forfeited that contest for him. Then the following week, we saw a four-man elimination contest for Todd Sopel's WWE Championship. Ethel would be eliminated in the early going by Staples, and in the end, Sin would make Todd Sopel tap out to the sharpshooter, but the mass referee's attention was turned to Staples on the floor, and when Sin turned his attention to Staples on the floor, he got walloped with a steel chair, went backwards, and was hit with a great equalizer. Ethel gets caught, and he gets dropped down after the drop kick into a cover. And then, just last week, Epo had that number one contender's choice match against Todd Sopel with freaking Flax as the special guest referee. Big boot by Sin. The team of Sin, Epo, and freaking Flax utilizing the tagless rule there. Sin comes charging, gets caught with an Inzaguri. As I was saying in that number one contender's choice match, Freakin' Flax was the special guest referee, and we had interference once again from Staples, and in the end, when Epo was face first in a pile of tacks in a gridlock, Freakin' Flax was left with no alternative but to call for the bell, and after the main event was over, Epo made the challenge to Staples for Legacy, and over the week it was accepted by the Dirty Dealer. Sit in the corner, Yakuza kick by his former partner, Staples. Sin down in the corner after being kicked in the head by his former partner. Sin goes under the legs and he makes a tag over the corner to freaking Flax who comes flying in, taking out Staples with that flying forearm. Flax back Staples off the ropes, Irish with reversal by Staples, goes for a clothesline, he gets caught and he gets dropped down by freaking Flax. Freaking Flax now waiting for Staples to get up, comes charging. We got a face crusher onto Staples by the masked Montezuma of mayhem and mischief. The man heading to Legacy, looking to ride the Legacy curse to his first ever WAW Championship reign. Can Flax overcome the odds and take the curse on his side? And we got a, well he likes to call that the teabagger. And I'll uh, leave it to your imagination as to why that move is called that. I'm not going to explain it. I'm not getting fired. And here comes Epo charging after his legacy opponent as he was tagged in by freaking Flax. Hammering away at Staples. Oh, rake to the eye by Staples. Drops Epo right down, holding his eyes. And Epo sent right into the turnbuckle. Staples makes a tag to the WAW champion, the equalizer Todd Sopel. <laughs> Todd Sopel has Epo. Tries for an Irish whip, he gets dropped toehold by Epo. Epo comes charging, punch right to the face back, and Sopel off the ropes. Sopel off the opposite side, reverses the Irish whip. Epo goes over the shoulders, trying for a roll up here. Sopel hangs onto the ropes. Sopel tries for a clothesline, Epo ducks, and we got a scrap buster by Todd Sopel onto Epo. Scrap Buster into the pin, we only get two. Epo kicks out at the last second. Epo sent off the ropes with an Irish whip, and we got a flapjack by the WAW champion, dropping Epo face first down on the mat. Here comes Sopel, sent on splash, right across the check. Sopel out of the ring, and here comes Staples, out of nowhere with an Epo splash. Freaking Flax breaking up the pin there. And Staples makes a tag to the Dirty Dealer. Here comes Epo's current manager. Like it or not, he's still got the contract until April 20th. Epo's manager, the Dirty Dealer, 
hammer it away there at Effo. Steelers got himself a new client in Staples. He's already signed a contract with Staples. Technically, he's managing both Effo and Staples, who will do battle at Legacy by that time, though. Effo will be a free man on his own. It will be his first night without the Dirty Dealer as his manager. Flax makes a tag, but the referee does not see it. Freaking Flax hammering away on Staples, the best referee. How like it or not, he made the good call. He didn't see the tag. He thinks that there's an illegal tag. But now, three on one attack in the corner by the Dirty Dealer and Todd Sopel with Staples. Staples makes the tag, and in comes Todd Sopel. Sopel drives a shoulder right into the stomach. Echo up in the corner. And again. Sopel with a European uppercut. Sopel takes Echo. Goes for an Irish whip, but Echo reverses it with a short arm reversal into his own Irish whip. Gets caught with a boot. And we got a swinging neck breaker. And Effo lands face first, spinning 360 degrees around, landing on his face. Sopel has Effo up, now going for a scoop slam, and he drops him down on the scoop slam. Leg drop by Todd Sopel across the throat. And we only get two. Todd Sopel driving a knee into the back. Wrenching away, he's got him in a cobra, excuse me, a camel clutch. Driving that knee right into the back. Echo working his way up. Elbow Sopel in the stomach, and again. And he gets caught into an e-break. And we got Staples bling bling it up. And we got an Insiguri flips it, Effo. Inside out. We got a cover, two, and Effo gets a shoulder up. Effo desperately needs to make a tag. He's taken a serious beating here at the hands of Todd Sopel, Staples, and the Dirty Dealer. Todd Sopel picking Effo up and slamming him down there, back suplex into a slam. Sopel only getting two there. goes under, he gets caught by Sopel. He was inches away from making a tag to the War Machine, the original War Machine sin. Effo has Sopel, Cyclone DDT. Sin desperately wanting that tag. He hasn't seen action since he got his head kicked in by Staples. Sin wants the tag. Sin and Staples both pretty much in the ring. Both still on the outside. Staples gets a tag and so does Sin. Here comes Sin. Close line to Staples. Close line to Sopel. Close line to the Dirty Dealer. Staples swings. He gets caught. German suplex. Ah, oh, here comes Todd Sopel. A knee to the midsection. Sin sent it to the corner. Boot to the face of Sopel. He's got Sopel. German suplex across all three turnbuckles. Todd Sopel's head bounced off the turnbuckles. What a German suplex there by the original War Machine. Staples with a drop kick right to the stomach, driving all the wind out of Sid. And he takes Sid and sends him out to the floor. Flex hits uh, uh, Sopel down to the floor, and now we've got freaking Flex and Todd Sopel rolling on the floor. Here comes Epo out to the floor as well, pulling Staples out. Dirty dealer in the ring. Here comes Sin. Dealer swings. Oh, wait a second. He has Staples gold staple gun in his hands. He knocks Sin out, and it is over. The dirty dealer taking a big pinfall over Sin as we are two weeks away from Cemetery Gate 7. Sin knocked out cold with that staple gun. 
Staples now just kind of nudging Sid along. Kind of like, get out of our way. We won the match. Get out of the ring. Dealer stomping away. Here's Sopel stomping. All three men hammering around. Dirty Dealer stomping away as well. Mass referee gets knocked down. Wait a second, FO and Flex charge and they hit with a ladder to the faces. And again, to, free, to the Dirty Dealer, Staples and Todd Sobel. I'm sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up here. This is just exciting. We are two weeks away from Legacy. I can hardly contain my excitement. Toss Salad onto the ladder, which Dirty Dealer and Staples are underneath, so they just got squashed by Todd Sopel. Here comes Effo. Effo splash onto the ladder, squashing Staples and the Dirty Dealer underneath that ladder. Looks like freaking Flax may have something in mind for the Dirty Dealer. He's putting him down on the corner, and he's bringing that ladder over. He's positioning it right on the face of the Dirty Dealer. Wait a second, here comes Sin. Good drop kick to the ladder, driving that steel metal ladder right into the face of his Cemetery Gate 7 opponent, one of his three opponents, the Dirty Dealer. Hey, mama, I want. Well, Todd Sopel, Staples, and the Dirty Dealer might have won this contest, but they certainly don't look like winners right now. Dirty Dealer sent for a loop, Staples using Dealer to stay on his feet, Todd Sopel screaming obscenities. What a night we have seen here on Aftermath. And it looks like uh, Flax or Epple has something to say. Let's see what they got to say. At Legacy, I am guaranteed a victory for Epple. Best of five series, freaking Flax won. You can keep it warm for me now. Oh, oh that's no fucking right. chance. I'll see you next week. And no disqualifications. Pinfalls count anywhere. And that will just be a warm up for a legacy in two weeks where I will no. put you down, sick and grave digger, in Cemetery Gate 7. No. So, so, if you, Staples, think you can stop FO from invading Mr. Legacy, if you, Ladies and gentlemen, a match unveiled for next week. Sin and the Dirty Dealer in no disqualifications. Pinfalls count anywhere. Epo saying that he will remain Mr. Legacy by defeating Staples to become 4-0 at Legacy. Freaking Black says he's going to ride that curse to the WWE Championship. And Sin says he's going to put the Dirty Dealer and Gravedigger down once and for all in Cemetery Gate. Can these three men make on their guarantees or will they all suffer the fate of being on the downside of Legacy? All of these questions and more will be answered at Legacy in two weeks. Be sure to join us next week, ladies and gentlemen, as we will be just one week away, six days until Legacy is made available on television and the WAW website. Legacy 2006 is on the horizon. I cannot wait. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us this week in the Aftermath. Be sure to join us next week as we will be one week away from Legacy 2006.